Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Today is day eight of the vlog. If you're new here and you like this type of content, consider subscribing, it'd really be appreciated. So today we're doing a video on how to edit in Final Cut Pro 10. This is the very basics. You're gonna learn in five minutes the, all that you need to make simple videos for YouTube, Instagram, family videos, anything that you wanna know. We're gonna go through the basics. You're gonna learn how to import clips. You're gonna learn how to chop up clips. You're gonna learn how to add titles and add music and finally export your video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining us and let's get into it. Final Cut Pro is Apple's editing software. They do have a free version which is called iMovie. I'll be doing a video probably about that later on. Let me know in the comments down below if you do wanna see a video about that. So what we have to start doing is opening up a library. So what you wanna do is go to File, New, and then Library. And we're gonna title the library Kitchen B-Roll and click Save. So that's our library. Now I want to create a project in that library and I'm gonna call it Kitchen B-roll sequence for vlog eight. So here is my project. So that's what you wanna open up. And now this down here is called your timeline where my cursor is scrolling. So that is where you wanna put in your media. So wherever you're importing your media from, for me it's from this camera but I already have it saved on my computer, whether it's your phone, another camera, wherever. Bring that in and you can drag it directly into your timeline. Another way of doing it is you can go to File, Import Media and that'll open up your browser to import wherever you wanna import your media from. So I started this video, the space bar will play at a normal speed, let you run through your video clip. And if you hover over the ends of each clip, so I have one, two, three clips here. I am going to delete all the audio because I don't want any of this audio. I'm gonna overlay music over this. So you can select all your videos by clicking and dragging or hitting the command button and grabbing all these and then right click and hit detach audio. So that'll separate your audio from your video. I don't want any of this audio, so I'm gonna just select it and delete it. All right, so trimming. Trimming is when you go from either end of your clip, this is clip one, I, I can go from the beginning or the end, and when you see this icon here, you can click on the end of your clip and see how it's red? That's the start of the original clip. Now if you click down and hold, you can drag in and you are trimming the ends of your clip. So I'm going to start the trim when I put the pan into the sink. So we're gonna start it right there. And if I wanna trim from the back end of this clip, I grab the back end, same cursor shows up, and I am pulling it back to where I want the clip to end, which is with the last squirt. All right, so now let's show you how to access the blade tool. The shortcut is just hitting B on your keyboard. When you select a clip, you can go to trim and then blade, and that will make a cut wherever your cursor is. Now to get rid of that, always hit Command Z. So I'm going to hit B as a shortcut so I can just freely use the blade tool and I'm going to blade at certain points that I want each little segment to end. So you wanna make a cut with your blade tool at the beginning of where you want a clip to start inside of a clip and at the end of where you want. And then you can press A to go back to cursor, your free mouse, click on the clip that you want to delete and hit delete and that will delete each clip that you don't want. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these clips, select and delete each clip that I want and don't want. All right, so I got all my clips cut up. All right, so wherever you're grabbing music from, again, you can go file, import media, or just drag your music into the, your timeline. Pick my music, and music always goes underneath your video. Quickly, just to adjust video, you can click and you see zero dB. I'm gonna bring the music levels down. And again, I'm gonna use the blade tool to trim off the music at the end of the clip. And that is basically your video that you have. Last thing I'm gonna do is show you quickly how to add a title. So the short, shortcut for a title is Control T, and that brings up a basic title. Click on that title, 
and wherever you can freely move that to be wherever you want in your video I'm gonna have it at the beginning and you can click the line inspector up here and that'll bring up all your editing tools that you can do within your with your text again this is a very basic video so I'm just showing you the basics so we're just gonna highlight this and enter in washing dishes I'm gonna make some adjustments to that and you can learn that in another video that I'll create all right, so once you're all set and you have your clips chopped up, you got your music in there, you got your title, all you need to do is export your video. So all you have to do is go up to File, Share, and you wanna share master file, you wanna share everything. I use the default settings, go ahead and click Share File, choose where you want the video to end up, you can put it right on your desktop, and then hit Save. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It really is appreciated. I'm going to be making lots more videos like this. Right now, I'm doing a daily vlog series. You can check it out right here. And I'm going to be making more videos like this once that vlog series ends, but who knows, I might throw some editing tips and tricks in one of my daily vlogs. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to get out there and discover.